Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to do something really stupid there. Welcome back to Resident Evil Zero HD. Um, in the last episode, we unlocked the doors by using the MO disc. We found the purpose of the iron needle. Uh, we actually unlocked quite a few doors. We got made some progress in the last episode. So in this one, we're going to see what we can find behind these locked sword doors. Now, what is behind door number one? It's quite an old door. I'd imagine it's some dead people. Because even though this door is locked, they're still likely to get infected, right? Oh, this guy's a scientist. Or something. Oh crap. I'm going to let this guy come around the corner because I don't actually know where he is. Ah, the fuck, he's right there. Oh crap. Okay, it looks like his shoulder's all bleedy. Or is that just a shadow effect? I think it's just a shadow effect. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. It's just another bloody corridor, isn't it? Although the candle itself is old, the flame is burning brightly. It must be some hell of a candle. Should we quickly just have a look at the map? Now this door... Right, okay. See, this room here is bigger. It probably has a lot more people in it and stuff like that. So I'm going to go for the smaller one. Famous last words. Oh. Yep, there's a zombie in here. Oh shit, there's two. Okay, ah uh, right. I'm going to have to use Bada Bean Boy. Just because I'm... Well, I don't really have a lot of ammo. I need to get these guys down. Stay down, bitch. Okay, so we have blue herbs, which we, us veterans, know that is... Ah, spray. Sorry, I got a bit sidetracked there. Um, us veterans know that the blue is for poison. Um, right, so we need a container to carry it. So if I bring Rebecca here, she can not only... Take some herbs to heal poison. Oh, I'm so glad I came here first. I bet you the other room has some sort of spiders or something in it. Ooh, okay. Um, she can carry poison. Uh, sorry, not poison. What do you call it? Uh, anti venom in her little mixing case. Right. Anything else useful in here? I know this is kind of like the. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the clinic. Not a clinic, but you know what I mean. But still, I could have some ammo. They do tend to put it in weird places. Nope. Okay. Should I just automatically assume the worst? I think so. If it's anything like Resident Evil 1, where a spider climbs down from the ceiling behind you to block the door. <sighs> right. Okay. No. No. I know what this is. But I won't spoil it. <laughs> Combine. Good news is there's no zombies. I don't think, anyway. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is all very useful stuff. Um, I kind of wonder if I should go and get it before I do anything. So we got, let's see, the queen, uh, black queen in the top left corner on the black tile. We got two rooks, uh, a pawn, and a queen. And. Okay, so it's like 
think it's very simple. I think it's very, very simple. Yes. So, you, yeah, okay. But still... Oh, I don't know. Screw it. Let's just go for it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to do something really stupid there. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm well aware. So, yeah, I would have pushed this forward and had it blocked. Okay. I'm going to have to push it forward anyway, anyway, because it's blocked by this freaking... Wow, I died really quickly. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't take it exactly one point forward. Resident Evil Zero. Mm, okay. Okay, we're back. I decided to bring Rebecca with me this time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up before I go in. I know. I probably could have saved that for a bit longer, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, because I think that the poison trickles down your health, and if you're close to dead, you're not going to have very long to actually accomplish your goal, you know? Well, it looks like some sort of chemical. Bam, put it in the mixing set. Yep, you put green chemical into the mixing set. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Let's switch. Examine. Uh, the container is filled with a green chemical. It has, uh, sorry, it appears to have neutralizing effect on poisons. Neutralizing effect on poison. That doesn't mean you become. Uh, uh, sorry, it doesn't mean you become like a, immune, though, does it? I don't think so. I think it just kind of counteracts it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave you here, my darling. I'll go alone. Roger. What have I got with me? It doesn't really matter, does it? Not a lot of ammo. That's what I got with me. You can keep your herbs. Okay. We'll try this one again. Essentially, what I was trying to do is... Well, you've got to mimic, I believe, um, what's on the chessboard. But obviously, if I was just to push the, um, the queen forward one... This would be blocking my path, so I needed to move this out of the way first, so I could um, get in behind there. But for some reason, it, it didn't stop where it needed to. This bloody thing was in the way, wasn't it? Okay, pick that up. I don't know why. Um, and we got ink ribbons and looks like incinerary shells. Okay, so do we just go for it? I think we just go for it. To be honest with you. That was forward. Come on. Oh, doesn't help with his bloody control scheme. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see. How's it affecting our health? It just says poison, but I believe I'm still healthy. No. Right, so this time I think I get it. What I was going wrong with is uh, apparently the poison kills you no matter what. You just have like a, like a certain amount of time for you to block the vents again. With some of the chest pieces, they have vents at the bottom that are obviously spewing out all the poison. Um, I think it's just a case of the you only move the one chest piece you need to move. Because that one didn't seem to have a vent under it. Let's test this theory a minute. Yep. Okay. So it was like a million times easier than I was making out to be. Never mind. You live and you learn, eh? Oh, come on. This is... I mean... <sighs> wow. Just stop and take a sec. Come on, come on, come on. No, this isn't working. <laughs> wow. Push it down a little bit. 
Ah. Oh. This might be frustrating to watch, but it is even more frustrating to play. <sighs> it seems to be the only place I can move it. Is if I just push it right to the end. At least then I'll be able to get the freaking push against the door, and then maybe I'll be able to push it. No. Why can't I push it sideways? There we go. Of course, now it's too far down, isn't it? I'll have to bloody leave the room and come back in again. Jesus. And yeah, like I said, I mean, as much as I'm a fan of these. Like camera angles and stuff like that. They're just so fiddly. It's infuriating sometimes. I'd just like to point out that door actually had a keyhole in it. Which I know, shocking. It's not just like a hole or like some sort of trinket thing you have to push in. An actual umbrella key. Right, we'll try this one again. Go up against the black thing. It's the black thing. Uh, the pawn. There we go. Thank you. You kind of have to use something to kind of walk against so you can push it. Evil. Okay. Um. Jesus Christ, he's all over the bloody shop, isn't he? Might as well pick this up. Oh, can I not? Oh, I'm full. I bought a herb with me for some reason. Oh well. Rebecca time! <laughs> Did we pick up... Yeah, okay, we'll pick this up. Oh, yeah, I didn't use it in, uh, this time. T three times to figure that one up. I'm kind of ashamed, really. I'm not really quite good at these. And I wonder if mixing a blue and a green herb increases the potency of the green herb. But I doubt it. I think first things first, we should probably get the um, the mission item. Right, so it's a book called Evil. It's probably something inside it. it. Always is. It's never a book. They wouldn't give you a book. They give you a slip of paper. Wait, there's something more here. Okay. Oh, so it is actually a diary. Fair enough. Marcus's diary, day one. Uh, sorry, Marcus's diary one. Is it that? Yeah. December fourth. We finally did it. The new virus. We called it the progenerator virus. I want to carry it back to uh, and start investigations immediately. Which is a progenerator virus? That's not the one from Resident Evil 4, is it? No, that's that's Plagas. I'm, I'm thinking about the regenerator. Right, March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care. As long as I can continue my research on progenerator. I think that might actually be the original T-virus. If I'm remembering Resident Evil 5 correctly. Uh, he, can, he can do what he likes. Uh, August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me um, to be the new director of his training facility. Maybe it's because of the business. But he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this into my advantage. I need a specialist facility to properly explore all the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in my way. So was Umbrella not focusing on the T-Virus as its priority. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks a progenerator... Progenerator? Progenerator? As nothing more than a money-spinning fool. A tall fool. But it's... has, a, But its influences continue to grow. It can only be... Uh, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm not properly developed progenerator, I must strengthen my own position too. Right, September 19th. At last... I've discovered a way to build a new type of virus with the progenitor as a base. Ah, so yeah, I was right. Mixing it with leech DNA um, has a breaking through I needed. We're calling it the new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. I never realised it was actually... T-virus was built on leech. Right, it's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can do proper mammalian subject for these experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th, someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if enough, well, if that does, sorry, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. What a bastard. January 13th, at last, they are ready, my wonderful leeches. No, those of low intelligence, they will never have um, the privileges of testing this sense 
Right, okay, yeah, this is getting kind of boring now. Now, finally, I can move. Yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, device is set to product. It appears someone came looking for the T-virus and the leech is full. No doubt it'll work up in Spencer's group. Today, I gain. I found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. Okay, yep, 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 deal with them. Perhaps I should speak to William. Smoke out the pests. The Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce T at the next director's meeting and collect my, my just rewards. It was it all like black research then? I thought it was all like approved and that's what they wanted to do. God, that was long. Right, there's some kind of painting here, but it's covered with dust. You can't make up what it is. Yeah, I don't care about the painting. I care about the nade, sucker. Okay, ink ribbons. I mean, if you could just automatically drop items in the on the floor and they combine. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Right, so he's full and she's full. Well, hang on a second. Uh, elegant book bound by Weddy, but it seems unusually heavy for a book this thickness. Oh, I thought we were actually reading that book. Never mind. Right, took the black wing. Fantastic. See, I knew there was... Whoa, that's so weird. I knew there were several pieces to the um, good and evil. This is good news. This is good news. Uh, so we, we're done with here now. But there are a couple more sword areas. I mean, for starters, there's a front door, which I am butt scared of. Because if the first game taught me anything, it's there's, there's dogs out there. And I don't like the doggies. They're scary. Alright, oh, come on. I think he's a bit drunk. I think we will stop it there because, well, we're in a bit of bad shape to be honest with you and you can just kind of need to sort myself out, do a bit of inventory management or whatnot. Um, but in the next episode we're going to go outside, we're going to go out the front door, see what we can find out there and we'll also track down the other door. Oh yeah, the other door is in the boss room so we'll go there as well. But until then, I'll catch you next time. Ciao.